Good morning. How long could we last without food? Probably several weeks. How long could you last without water? Maybe just a few days. How long could you last without air? Probably minutes. We take breath for granted. So today, I want to talk about breath and focus on the breath that we have, the breath that supports our voice, that supports our speech. I'm going to show you three things today. The first one is the belly breath. The second point will do with our intercostal muscles of our ribcage. And finally, the third point, I'd like to talk about how we can focus on the diaphragm and do the diaphragmatic breathing. This exercise is particularly good because it helps us to take the breath in and to expunge the air out like a bellows, like the, be the old bellows. The bellows breath is simply taking air through your nose and then expunging the air out using the diaphragm. Let me demonstrate. I'll demonstrate again. In through your nose, full and then contract your stomach and expunge the air out. And that gives you the certain power and it shows you how strong your breath can be to support the column of air that supports your voice. And this is the way that you would support your voice with your breath. The second thing I'm going to show you, so when we stretch our rib cage, we're actually exercising, expanding and contracting the intercostal muscles of our chest, which in fact helps us to do the breathing. Because if you only just concentrate on the diaphragmatic breathing, and you're not also focusing on the intercostal muscles, you'll probably turn up short. Let me demonstrate. Breathing out. And breathing in. So that's to the right hand side. And then you do the same thing with the left hand side. Let me demonstrate with the left hand side. You breathe in, you turn to your left, breathing out. and inhaling again as you come back. Then you should be able to feel the stretch on your intercostal muscles of your rib cage when you do that. The first was the belly breath. The second was the intercostal exercise. And now the third is about the focused diaphragmatic breathing. Let me demonstrate that now. What you need to do is to place your fingers just underneath your sternum and push it in. As you breathe, you should feel your stomach coming in and out, in and out. So as I breathe in, you will feel, or I feel that my diaphragm is lowering. And then you'll feel that your stomach, or I feel my stomach is now softening. So let me demonstrate that. I'll inhale and exhale. So inhale first. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You'll feel your diaphragm, your abdominal muscles tightening up as you expunge the air out from your thorax. And there you are. That's the three. The first one is the belly breath. Second one is the intercostal exercise. And thirdly is the focused diaphragmatic breathing. Three exercises take a few minutes every day and that way I guarantee that you're going to get a much more powerful breath. Until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's Rick Elian signing off from behind. You can see the Sydney Opera House. Share the success and be kind to each other. Bye for now.